It is right that I, a woman black, should speak of white womanhood. My fathers, my brothers, my husbands, my sons die for it because of it. And their blood, chilled in electric chairs, stopped by hangman's noose, cooked by lynch mob's fire, spilled by white supremacist's mad desire to kill, gives me that right. I would that I could speak of white womanhood as it will and should be, when it stands tall in full equality. But then, womanhood will be womanhood, void of color and class, and all necessity for my speaking will be past, gladly past. But now, tis deemed a thing apart supreme, I must in searching honesty report how it seems to me. White womanhood stands in bloodied skirt and willing slavery reaching out adulterous hands, killing mine and crushing me. What then is this superior thing that in order to be sustained must need feed upon my flesh? How came this horror to be? Let's look to history. They said, white supremacists said that you were better than me that your fair brow should never know the wretchedness of slavery. They lied. White womanhood too is enslaved. The difference is degree. They brought me here in chains. They brought you here, willing slaves to men. You, shiploads of women, each filled with hope that she might, with ruby lip and saucy curl and bright and flashing eye, hem to wife who had the largest tender. Remember? And they sold you here, even as they sold me. My sisters, there is no room for mockery. If they counted my teeth, they did appraise your thigh and sold you to the highest bidder, the same as I.